Hi guys, I am sorry that I am very late, but before uh, starting the termination of prokaryotic replication, I would request you to go to my channel and watch the previous video which has the slideshow of the entire tree process of replication because it would be very helpful in understanding the, uh, the understanding this process because I have explained the other two process in those videos. Termination of replication in prokaryotes. So let's start. First, we have to know the term tercites. Obviously, we are not going to learn about termination. So, ter by tercites, we know that ter means termination. The second term is tus. Tus. Ter is a site but tus is not a site it is a protein we can also call it tbp protein or tbp uh, tus means ter site utilization substance you will know when i explain the entire thing you will know why the name is like that so it is a ter site utilization substance and TBP it is again the same it is tar binding protein so both of them together we uh, by now we might know what is tar site and what is tus protein so these two words are very important to understand termination term the next is very important topo isomerase I don't know what's wrong with my handwriting topo isomerase 2 so if we know these three terms then it's fine termination is almost done we could say so now we were talking about a prokaryotic dna a prokaryotic dna is usually circular in nature so this is our prokaryotic dna we have learned in the initiation part in the initiation video i have explained well about this i think i have explained well about this two 45 base pair long ORIC sequence which is very important which is the origin of replication the entire replication process starts here in this site in this site so this is the ORIC sequence Be why am I telling you, you is because the ORIC sequence is very important because termination occurs exactly opposite to the ORIC region so uh, when I say opposite to the ORIC region I mean this portion so this is the region where termination occurs now we will talk only about this region uh, let's just revise a little bit so when I said for initiation suppose this is the ORIC sequence this is the double stranded DNA from here the entire story started of initiation so the formation of the primer and then elongation it came this way this was bi bidirectional so in both the sides the elongation occurs and this is coming like this both of the sequences are continuously and simultaneously coming like this now this is the region of termination okay so here in this region we have the tar sites which i said here now comes the tar site okay the termination site obviously from the name itself we know what a termination site would do obviously terminate so the tar sites will be here i think there are about seven uh, seven termination sites till g termination site tar a tar b tar c d e f like that till g so till g there are seven termination sites so there will be seven termination site and tus protein obviously when i say termination tar binding protein so obviously it means it will bind to this so it will be like this tar binding proteins so this tar binding proteins will be here tbp and this is tar site ter termination in termination sorry in ter site tbp protein will together along with the ter site form tbp ter which we usually call as ter 
stars complex because TBP protein is also called as TAS protein. TAS protein. So the thing is same. The name is TAR TAS complex. This is very important. This is the entire thing. There is nothing more here. So this is the TAR TAS complex. Everything is done by the TAR TAS complex. Now we know what is what is a TAR TAS complex. So the next is so what was happening in the story? The story was like primer was there. Then that was initiation everything started from the ORIC region that then elongation so for all that we have seen in the previous videos if you have not seen the previous videos please go and watch that for reference and you will know this easy in a easier way here DNA helicase we have seen in the last videos see I am telling you if you have, if you have not seen the last video it's going, going to be tough for you so you better watch the uh, previous video so this is the DNA helicase uh, for prokaryotes we call it DNA B. What it does is we all know I mean I have seen I have said that in the my previous videos. So DNA B it separates the two strands suppose these are the two strands so the DNA B is here the two strands were together but as as it comes along this way the things will open up because it will cut the hydrogen bonds and the strands will be separated so the DNA B is coming this way the DNA is coming this way too now what happens is whichever DNA B first comes whichever strand after getting elongated first comes and meets the tartus complex that strand only will get arrested I know both the strands are coming together but one of them will meet first the tartus complex whichever strand meets the tartus complex first it will get arrested arrested means now we will talk about only this we have seen this entire story what is happening here so now we will talk about only this region suppose this is the region this is called the catenated oh my god my handwriting this is called the catenated region this region i mean this is the region because they are winded winded up so uh, the this part will be winded like this both the strands will be together winded like this so this is called the catenated region now we have to separate this part so there is the tartus complex here okay and one of the strands are coming suppose this strand has come and it has met the termination tartus complex first so this will get arrested now remember both the strands are coming but only one of them will get arrested one of them will get arrested and the other will keep coming okay so this one go, this one came here and it met the tartus complex first and it got arrested and this is called the termination because it has stopped here it has stopped replication here what is termination exactly termination means we have to stop the replication process because this is replicating this DNA is getting replicated and another st uh, another strand additionally is forming now we have to stop this because we have to terminate the process so when this strand first meets here we will stop it right here and another strand it is coming in the opposite direction because both the process are uh, going in opposite direction so this is coming in this way this will keep coming when it meets the tartus complex it won't stop because the, the, the tartus complex terminates uh, or restricts only the strand which meets it first. So this will keep coming and this will come and the helicase will unbind this. Here topo, topo isomerase 2 will come and uh, we have already seen in this region the action, the replication process has been stopped. It will come till here. See, if we let both the strands come together then what will happen is this part will not get replicated so we need this part to get replicated too so we will stop one and uh, one of the strands will be coming this way and they will finally when they come and meet this part portion where the first strand has got arrested what will happen is uh, a tiny portion of it will be left where it is catenated in this portion so here the topo isomerase 2 will come and unbind this region 
it will unbind this scatenated region so that let this be the replicated DNA this is the original DNA and this is the replicated DNA the replicated DNA was bound in this portion so when topo isomerase comes and bind unbinds this uh, catenated region it separates to give the two uh, give the the new replicated DNA strand so now we have the replicated DNA strand so the entire process is finished here so this was the termination process so we have completed the entire uh, three processes initiation elongation and termination of replication to finally get the replicated DNA so now uh, we have seen the only three important uh, things here the, that is the ter side the tus protein and the topoisomerase 2 this was really easy so next up guys is the um, transcription so i am thinking of doing transcription next it will be again of the three steps and then translation so if you guys want me to do something else or you guys some other thing uh, or you guys want me to do some other thing please let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video and it is of any help to you please like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching and i'll be really happy if you guys like the video and let me know uh, what can i improve and what else can i do with this video in the comment section below please guys thank you bye